This is seriously like never happened before, but like I feel sick. Like feel nauseous and have a headache. It's never happened. Are you still here with me? Okay, so today I'm up in Hibbing, Minnesota. It's about an hour and 30 from Duluth. I'm by myself because that's the price you pay for being cool. Um, you gotta be solo, I guess. Just kidding. Um, I'm headed to the Greyhound bus in Hibbing, which you wouldn't think would be haunted, but from what I've researched, there's some uh, pretty significant paranormal activity. This museum was built in 19... 86. Um, the Greyhound Bus Company was actually like developed in Hibbing and the first bus ran I think 1914. So there's a ton of buses there and like memorabilia from just the whole company as a whole from when it started. I think the earliest bus that they have there is from 1914. The paranormal activity that people experience there including employees and other visitors is people see shadows darting in and out of the buses there's been reports of the bus windows and doors opening and closing by themselves when they aren't supposed to, obviously. There's also reports of people seeing a little girl apparition. Employees have said that their like objects or tools or whatever have gone either missing and shown up in a different place or they were like moved. So why this place is haunted, there's a couple theories towards that. One being that they're right across from the cemetery. It's also right next to, I think an iron mine? All of Hibbing and like the Iron Range is like a big mining town, so who knows if that's like conduit for more paranormal activity. I know minerals are more considered or more associated with paranormal activity, but I'm not sure if iron plays into that. This one, I couldn't find any documentation, so don't take my word for it. Rumor has it that in 1918 when yellow fever was going around the land that the now museum sits on was a quarantine camp for uh, those who have yellow fever but that is all i think that's all rumor i personally couldn't find anything to verify that except like rumors and claims another theory is just that the objects within the museum have attachments you know a lot of objects you don't know there could be a spirit still attached. Who knows? There's a lot of theories, a lot of possible reasons. Um, it's funny to think that a bus museum has paranormal activity, but yeah. So while the bus museum is my main location for today and why I came up to Hibbing, I did want to stop at uh, the Lakeview Cemetery, which if you already can't tell, I'm currently sitting in a cemetery with my buddy Eddie. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Co-pilot. Anyways, ignore, I don't know if you saw my back seat, but ignore that. My whole closet's back there. Anyways, so back in, what is it, 1913? Yeah, this cemetery was established in 1913. Uh, at the same time, a hospital nearby was, and people at that hospital either had tuberculosis or mental illness, I think, from what I've read, those were like the main two um, things that people were housed for in that hospital. And so when people started to pass away and die, they didn't have the budget to properly bury them. So they buried them here at the Lakeview Cemetery. However, their graves are just steel crosses. Um, they're nameless. So it's kind of sad, you know, they didn't get a really proper burial. So where these patients are is called Potter's Field, which is completely separated from the actual cemetery with headstones and whatnot. So it's, it's sad, you know, they didn't get a proper burial. They don't have names on their crosses and they're separated from, you know, all the other graves, all the other visitors. I don't, I don't know how often people come out to visit.
can actually see where their bodies are. This is heavy. Here's a stone, piece of metal coming out of it where a cross should have been. That person is completely, just completely forgotten about. This is crazy. I thought Greenwood Cemetery was sad. or are just forgotten in time. All these people, you know, they lived a life. They, they had their own emotions. They had their own family. They were a sister, a brother daughter, son, and now they're just here, they're just forgotten. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do the usual, walk around with the EMF, see if I get any spikes. I got my spirit box out to um, see if I can get some voices, but yeah, let's just see where it goes. It's kind of hard to see in this light. Is anyone here with me right now? I have a green light in my hand that you can come up and touch. Is anyone here with me right now? Hi, I can hear you. What's your name? Every? Is there anyone here with me right now? My name is Anna. Any spirits that are here that would want to communicate, I have a device in my hand that I'll be able to hear you. Do you know what number your grave is on these crosses? It turn around. Can you tell me your name? My name is Anna. I'm open to any spirits here. If they want to communicate, I'm sweating. I'm gonna get so sunburnt. Oof, though. My name is Anna, what's your name? <laughs> oh my god. Did you hear that laughter? Th I'm going to the Greyhound Bus Museum. Good times. Good times! Oh my god! Hopefully I'll see you there. You can follow me to the Greyhound Bus Museum only. And hopefully we can talk more. definitely have an eerie feeling in here and I do have a headache right now 
I usually don't get them, so I don't know what that's about. It's definitely, I don't know, there's a lot of energy in here for sure. Just creepy. Oh my god, I have a headache. It's stuffy too. Is nuts. 1950s. Obviously can't go in there, but that. Imagine how many people passed through here and traveled, sat on these chairs. It's crazy. Chairs. Chairs. This is seriously like never happened before, but like. I feel sick. I like feel nauseous and have a headache and that's never, it's never happened. This is crazy. feel good. I'm being completely honest. I feel sick. Imagine how many people sat here going to their destination. I don't think that's anything electrical. Yeah, the energy in here is nuts. I'm gonna set up my equipment, get out the spirit box, maybe try to catch an EVP, but we'll see. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Can you touch that red light again? Can you stop? Step away? Oh my gosh. My eyes are watering. Thank you. 
Would you like me to open a line of communication? Touch the red light if you want me to. Okay. Can you come up to that red light and touch it? Apparently this bus is the most active. The windows and the doors open by themselves. I can't go all the way in here, but I will put my REM pod right here. Girl or boy? Is anyone here? My name's Anna. I certainly female. Unhelpful. unhelpful. What's unhelpful? You can come talk to me. Yeah, I can hear you. Is there anybody here with me right now? Where are you? Driving 199. Were you a driver? What is that noise? Bus? Is there someone with me right now? What's your name? You're Tom? Are you a bus driver? Did you come from a cemetery with me? Is anyone on here with me? Can you come and touch this green light if you're here? Or can you give me an obvious sign that you're here? Can you touch this green light again? going off again. Can you touch this green light? Can you make it go up to yellow? You just put more energy into it? You can use for my phones from these lights. Thank you. <laughs> I went up to yellow. Did you come here from the cemetery with me?
Thank you. There's something here. This is where I was going off before. Thank you. Can you touch that red light again? Can you touch the red light? You just have to go close to it. I'll back up. I'll give you some space. Walk around a bit. Are you still here with me? <laughs> this is insane. Thank you for letting me know. What's your name? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go. That right there. That was spirit box. Okay, that wasn't me. You know how close you have to get. You have to go like that close. Oh my god. Thank you. I'm about to open a line of communication. What's your name? Were you a bus driver? Did you ride on one of these buses? Which bus did you ride on? Every time I take the spirit box out, it sounds like they go away. I don't know why that is. I'm gonna walk around with the K2 again, see what happens and leave a REM pod. Is it you? Oh my gosh. Maybe there's activity because this is a ticket booth. Oh my god, K2's going off too. But what I said was, can you step away from that? Thank you. Setting my bag down, that was my bag. Walking, walking. Is there someone here with me right now? Are you trying to get your ticket? Were you a bus driver? Thank you. Which, which bus did you drive? 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 Or did you ride a bus? Did you ride a bus? Was that a confirmation that you rode a bus? Or did you do both? Do you know where we are right now? Oh my gosh.
I'm walking, walking. Something's right here. If you're right in front of me, can you pull my pant leg? You just have to pull it. I'll stand as still as possible. Can you pull on my pant? Walking, walking, walking. Oh my gosh, the K2 is going crazy. I didn't even see it. What is your name? They're both going nuts. Can you step away from that, please? Step away from that red light, please. They're like standing on it. My eyes are watering. Can you come over and stand next to me, please? My name is Anna. What's yours name? My grammar. Do you like that noise? Are you the little girl here? This is crazy. Can you come over here, please? Picking it up, picking it up. I'm gonna move the recorder over here and hover. Were you the one that was making me sick earlier? Did you give me a headache earlier? What is that noise? What's your name? What color shirt am I wearing? Do you know where we are right now? That was crazy. I'm gonna do it spirit session one more time, spirit bear box session. See if we get anything. Do you know my name? Did you come from the cemetery with me? In both? What was that? What's my name? What's your name? Are you the little girl here? Grandpod. Is this... Experiment? Oh my god. I'm turning this off. I'm going over here. Is this the little girl? My name's Anna. You can talk to me. I can hear you with this device. Water? You need water? 
Are you going to some place with water? In the US yes, we are in the USA. Do you want to go to Chicago? Are you trying to get on a bus to Chicago? Where are you from? Oh, she said. Are you a bus driver? Am I talking to a bus driver? Silly me. Who am I talking to? Are you lonely? Are you trying to buy a ticket? Can you step away from... Thank you. That's not me. I'm not close enough. Can you touch that flashlight? Can you make it go on? You just have to touch it. I'm feeling weird again, like physically. I'm gonna try something. Can you follow me? Oh. Is that me? I can't tell. That might've been my pant leg. That's not me. Can you come over here and touch this flashlight? You just have to touch it. Can you touch it if you're the little girl? Just go boop. Can you touch it please? Can you step away? Thank you. 